Nutritional deficiencies and hair loss are not commonly linked together, but they are closely related. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can eat the right foods to help to avoid hair loss, as well as ensure that you are getting the right type of vitamins and minerals in your diet to promote hair growth. I'm Dr. Nina, and on my channel, we talk about using functional medicine, hair health, and a holistic lifestyle to be your best self. When we're talking about food to help to promote hair growth or prevent hair loss, we want to talk about making sure that you are eating the essential foods, such as foods that's not processed. So we're talking about foods that's not like fast foods. So protein, where are you getting your protein from? So protein is going to come from meat, plant-based protein. I'm a huge component of plant-based protein because not only are you getting protein, but you're also getting minerals at the same time as well as other nutrients. Also, you want to make sure that you are getting enough vitamin C, zinc. Zinc is huge because it helps with your hair, especially hair around the perimeter. We want to make sure that we're getting enough foods that contains ironing because a lot of people are not aware that iron actually helps with the hair growth cycle. And so many times I hear about vitamin D where clients will say, well, I went to the doctor and they told me that I had low vitamin D. They gave me a prescription and I didn't take it or I didn't take the, they told me to take vitamin D over the counter and I didn't take it, huge. So vitamin D is important. You can actually go out in the sun, stand in the sun for about 15 minutes and get vitamin D. But if your levels are low, you definitely wanna make sure that you're supplementing with a good vitamin D3 so that it helps with the hair growth cycle. Vitamin D is huge for hair loss, as well as iron, zinc, selenium, a lot of times Selenium levels is low, especially for those who have thyroid imbalances. That's going to be essential in, inside of your diet. And then another thing too that I'm seeing a lot in my clients from the Caribbean islands, um, some of my, my two oldest kids are huge rice eaters. So what happens when you're consuming a lot of white rice? So white rice does not contain fiber. So when you're we're eating all these starchy foods and it's processed and the body is turning into sugar. So high sugar content food or high carbs, it is restricting blood flow to the hair follicles and it could potentially slow down your hair growth or it can contribute to hair loss as well as scalp conditions. So a better alternative than eating white rice is you can eat brown rice, red rice is really good. Quinoa is another one that's, that's really good as a, a healthy alternative. Healthy greens, so green leafy vegetables. Spinach is gonna be good for you. Cooked broccoli is gonna be good. Artichoke is good. Collard, different type of collard greens. Kale is, is amazing for hair growth. So all of these is very important to have in your diet, as well as you wanna make sure that you stay away from inflammatory foods. So some of the inflammatory foods that we're noticing um, that's causing hair loss is going to be gluten. Gluten right now is surpassing red meat because gluten, it just turns into mucus in the body and the type of gluten that we have here in the States is not the best form. It's totally different than the gluten that you would get if you were in Europe. It's red gluten that we're getting here and it's so much of a higher concentration to where our bodies don't know what to do with it. As well as milk. A lot of people are having allergies to milk. Um, it can cause inflammation in the body. So a healthy alternative is going to be almond milk, oat milk, and this is huge. I don't know what's going on today, but a lot of women will say that I don't like drinking water. I'm hearing this a lot. So there's so many different ways that you can utilize water. You can drink it room temperature. At first, that's the only way that I could drink water was room temperature, or try drinking water with ice in it. Um, you can put a lemon in it, put some flavor to it. But water is huge because our body is mostly made of water and water actually helps with the hair growth cycle too. So it's like a tree. So how you, you need to water a tree so that that tree can grow the same thing for your, your hair. You wanna make sure that you're getting in half your body weight in ounces of water. Okay, so I hope this information was beneficial to you. And if you need help, please feel free to book an evaluation. I'll be happy to help you and put together a customized nutritional plan based on some labs or some things that we may find that of some of the deficiencies that you may have so that you can have a plan in place for healthy hair growth. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, take care.